Sasha Erpazuki. I'm the scientific leader and the clinical leader of Group Psilux Trauma Institute in Luxembourg. Welcome. Uh, today, uh, and I don't want to make a long video, it's really a short video, briefly uh, talking about uh, what we could do, what kind of coping strategies we could use in these times uh, of coronavirus, uh, which is causing uh, social distancing and social isolation because of the lockdowns that we have in the different countries and, and we need to stay home a lot. So uh, I just want to give you a brief understanding of what is social isolation, social distancing. Well, staying at home, not being able to be in contact on a daily basis with, with other people, with other friends, acquaintances whatsoever, family members, going to work, see the colleagues, talk to them, having the routines that we had. So we're staying at home and we're sort of isolated will cause um, a lot of, can cause a lot of anxiety, uh, and panic attacks, it can cause uh, uh, obsessive compulsive uh, symptoms, it can cause depression, it can cause a lot of uh, uh, the, the feeling of aloneness and loneliness uh, and so on and so on and so on. Uh, it can at the end cause such a stress that uh, one could um, could develop a post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, disorder out of it. So having said that, it is very important that you find coping strategies to uh, organize the time that you have the best way in order not to experience this uh, social isolation or the social distancing. Now here is um, a couple things that, that you can do, easy things that you can do. Um, these are uh, so to say, the coping strategies you could use to um, organize the time of the quotation mark social isolation that you have. Uh, the social isolation uh, will be experienced uh, nowadays mostly by people that are extrovert. Uh, not the introvert, because the introvert, they have uh, the habit of being quotation marks alone not to interact that excuse me not to interact that much whatsoever so the introvert uh, will mostly uh, cope well with it because they have the habit of uh, being alone uh, not to interact that much and so on the extrovert uh, they will have a hard time because they're out there at work in the family uh, with the friends and acquaintances, they're always in interaction and, and they're extroverts. So uh, now all of a sudden, staying home, being alone, not being able to have contact, not going to work, not being with the colleagues, not being with friends, not going out there for sports uh, in the group whatsoever. So this will cause problems. Of course, the resilience, uh, the psychological resilience uh, play a big role as well. The more resilient you are, the less you risk to uh, suffer under uh, social isolation or distancing. So, however, it is very important that you take care of yourself and your beloved ones. Now, what can you do? Make a list of the things that you have been missing, that you have been missing to do. Uh, make a list of all those things that you always would like to do. Uh, is it hobby-like things? Is it a list of things you would like to repair at home? Is it some woodwork you would always love to do? Whatever it is, put it on a list and work it up. Okay? Then make a list of everything that you're missing on psychological level. So contact, uh, conversation, um, being hugged, talking about your problems whatsoever. Talk to your husband, to your wife with it, uh, about it. Um, try to see what you can find in order to fulfilling all those things that you have been missing. Make a list of the things that uh, you never had the time for. Uh, try to realize those. Uh, 
that's uh, a good time right now as you have a lot of time. Get in touch with other people, especially friends, acquaintances, by phone, social media, however, and stay in contact. Even though it is virtual, uh, it will help you uh, not to lose all the routines um, of human interaction. Do not spend all day in front of the PC, iPad, or iPhone, or telephone, or whatsoever. Uh, this is not a good idea because within the social isolation, you're isolating yourself again into your iPhone, into your iPad, into your tablet, into your PC, laptop, whatsoever you're doing. Skype video conferencing, WhatsApp groups, Facebook groups, and so on, uh, they, are, they can be very helpful and useful to get in contact with other people and have the feeling of interaction. Um, Again, make a list of the hobbies and everything you would always have loved to do, you never had the time for, and do those. Reduce your alcohol consumption. Uh, alcohol is going to have a uh, disinhibiting, disinhibiting and, and negative uh, influence on your brain. Uh, you're going to need all your brain and psychological power right now so do not um, reduce this power by drinking alcohol or a lot of alcohol either don't drink if you can or reduce it really so a lot of alcohol drinking uh, can cause a lot of problems especially in these times eat more vegetables and juices uh, drink juices fruits and so on, um, they will give your body what it needs to, to cope uh, with the things um, it has to cope with during such times. Uh, take turns um, in cooking for yourself and other people in the household. So two days your wife is cooking, two days you're cooking. Um, you are all, also changing uh, the tasks at home so if you're cleaning maybe one day she's cleaning the other day you're cleaning one day you're taking care of children the other day she's taking care of the children so try to exchange this and organize this with each other in order to uh, having um, a change of task because other than that it will become a very boring thing to do if, if you have to clean the house every day then uh, at one point uh, you're going to start to suffer from it. If you are the one who has to cook every day, at one point it becomes boring. So, you know, try to uh, change this task with each other um, and, and uh, bring some, uh, some sort of a some sort of the feeling of having a new task every day, some, something new to do, so it's not always the same thing. Then um, create mental tasks such as uh, games, chess, puzzles, uh, and so on. Maintain a healthy sleeping rhythm. So the circadian rhythm that you have is very important. You need the quality sleep which is from 11 11 30 uh, in the evening uh, until six seven o'clock latest eight o'clock in the morning so try to keep these times don't sit in front of the tv or in front of the um, ipad whatsoever watching i don't know netflix whatever you watch uh, until uh, three o'clock in the morning and get out of the bed the next day at, at 11 because this will interrupt your circadian rhythm and this will have a negative influence on your uh, sleep quality. And also uh, pay attention to whatever you may need um, psychologically. If, if you need uh, professional help, if, if you need a professional to help you because you see, okay, you cannot help yourself with it anymore, you need a professional, then uh, do not hesitate to call do not hesitate to get someone to help you. Do not wait that long. Don't wait too much. Because the longer you wait, 
the more you're gonna suffer and the bigger the negative effects uh, are. Having said all this, uh, I wish us all, I wish you all, um, all the best, warmest uh, regards and um, have a good time. Try to make the best. Thank you.